Hello everyone, so today the adapter design pattern. So let's say you have two services with different interfaces and you want them to collaborate uh, with each other and it seems impossible so the adapter pattern is the solution in that case. So as usual I'll show you how to implement it in Go and then we will discuss uh, pros and cons. So if you enjoy this kind of video, um, like and subscribe. And of course, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and happy video. Okay, so here, as usual, we have a um, module called adapter with a main uh, program. And I just created a subfolder called temperature displayer. Then we have a file called displayer.go and here we will create a simple temperature displayer. The idea here is going to be that this temperature displayer is only displaying a Celsius temperature. So we created a struct called Celsius temperature displayer and we will attach to it a receiver method just called display and um, we will define a type called Celsius and we'll just work with it to simplify things. So here for a first iteration, that display method can only take Celsius and it's simply gonna log it. Temperature in Celsius, colon, and then the value of the int. Okay, so you can see here the ID is helping you. So instead of using print, we will use printf. Okay. So as you know, I like to try bit by bit. So if we instantiate a displayer, so displayer colon equal temperate displayer not Celsius, but a displayer. So we have a displayer, a Celsius displayer. And with that Celsius displayer, we can invoke display. So we need the Celsius. So you can see here, I can just cast 10 to a Celsius because it's just an int. And if we try that out, we should see temperature in Celsius 10 like that so all good so okay so now we will create another sub module called temperature provider and we will start simply with a static provider which mean we're going to send back the same value each time, just to start with. So it's in the packet temperature provider, so I can simply call um, the, the struct static. And I will declare an interface here in the in the temperature provider. Just for the sake of comprehension, I will name it interface temperature provider, but you do know that it's not such good practice in Go to name your interface with interface. So here our interface has just one function called get Celsius and sending back the Celsius we define in the displayer package. So here I'm a little bit annoyed because I don't want to depend on the displayer package to have a type. So I will, I will just clean it a bit and we will create a temperature model package as you can see and here i'm gonna try to use my id shortcut to just move it so then the imports will be sorted for us so on my id i'll just go to refactor and then move so i want just to move celsius the type celsius and not in the temperature display package but the temperature model and I need to tell it where to go, which file to go. 
and the only file in that module is model. So then you can see it has just dragged the type there and have changed everything for me. So you can see that type model tells you here and it has changed there as well. So it's cleaner code there. Okay, so before uh, going back to our static uh, temperature provider, we can improve a little bit the display. So that display function was taking um, a Celsius, a value in Celsius. But now because we have an interface temperature provider, we can simply send to the displayer, the Celsius displayer, a uh, Celsius provider. So assuming that you have a Celsius provider, it will have a get Celsius function method. So you can simply pass the provider and then just call the um, get Celsius method to get your Celsius. So then back to our static provider, we can ID shortcut and to implement our interface. So it's interface temperature provider. There you go, static. And then we can implement it. So it's a static, so it's, it's a bit uh, stupid, but we can just return 25 degrees there. So back to our main um, program, we will create a static provider. So temperature provider static. I didn't create it any constructor method, but you could do that if you want. And then just send it your provider to your display method. And then you go temperature in Celsius 25. So all good there. So so now what's happening is your display is only taking a Celsius provider. Okay, so now let's create some problem. We will create a random provider. So here, just tidying. So I'm using my ID shortcut to rename the file static because provider, it's already in the provider package. So it's useless to call static provider. Right, so in the random file, we will just create a struct called uh, random. And here, I don't want to implement uh, the get Celsius interface. Let's say that random temperature provider is in fact giving temperature in Fahrenheit. So we will attach to that random provider Fahrenheit and you can imagine that that random provider is in an external package and you don't have control over it. So you can see here that I created a um, type called Fahrenheit, which is an int as well in the model package, temperature model package. Okay, so here it's uh, the implementation of that random provider. So I went a bit quick, but this is the rand package, the random package. So maybe one day we will do a video on it. So you just need a, to instantiate a source, a dynamic source. So I'm using the time that now. And then from that seed source, you can just create a randomizer. And we are using that int n function on our random generator, which means that it will generate a number between zero and the number you're giving. Okay, so we can uh, return any number between zero and 170. So you can see there, I have a type problem. I just need to cast the the int returned by that brand function into Fahrenheit. So to do so, um, you can just invoke temperature model dot Fahrenheit. And there you go. Okay, so let's just try it out. So we have our random provider. Yeah, so just to make sure you understand that pattern here, let's say that 
our random function only our random uh, provider only providing finite so we are not allowed to change that random file okay so let's just try it out obviously it's incompatible with the displayer because it's only returning finite but we can just log the finite temperature so it should be a number between uh, 0 and 170 so 77 so we can run it again 148 all good so now a little bit of setup and a little bit of step by step to explain the problem but now it's the time for the adapter pattern so in that temperature provider alongside the random provider we will create the random adapter it's very simple in Go, so we will have a random adapter as a struct, and because we do work with that temperature provider interface, we can just implement that interface. So ID shortcut. So you can see there we have our get Celsius method, method, and it's returning Celsius. Right. So there, how do you implement that? We will just add a field called random which is a random provider for that random adapter so if you remember the decorator pattern it's exactly the same um, mechanism okay so the implementation is um, there's a little bit of science and math there but nothing complicated so we will invoke that random provider and get the Fahrenheit so F is the temperature in Fahrenheit and uh, if you just go to um, if you just go on Wikipedia to get the temperature back into Celsius you just do minus 32 and you divide by 1.8 so you can see that we have a little bit of type problem because 1.8 is a float so I will cast that F which is an int into a float so then c is a float and then we will send back that float into an int okay so we need it's not a simple int it's a celsius but celsius is an int so we simply just cast c into celsius so Quite straightforward, converting Fahrenheit into Celsius and a little bit of type cast conversion. Okay, so um, let's create an adapter. So we either you can just create a temperature provider and then fill up the field. So here you can see that I didn't expose that field, so it's not going to work that way. So I'm simply going to use my ID to create a constructor, so a new random adapter, taking a random provider. And then I can simply call it. So temperature provider, new random adapter. And we will simply pass the random provider we created earlier. OK, so all being good, I can just simply send the random adapter to the displayer. So that's the whole beauty of that pattern here. So before doing that, I'm just going to add some log line to make sure we are doing a correct conversion. So uh, temperature in Fahrenheit, we're going to log it. Percentage V for numerical value. And the displayer will display our Celsius um, temperature. Okay, so here my ID is complaining because static provider is not used, so we will display as well the 25 degrees at the beginning of the log. Okay. So you can see 25, then the temperature in Fahrenheit 135, and then in Celsius is 57 degree which um, I'm European, I don't know much about it, but um, 
we can we can try it again so 137 so it's 55 113 it's 45 so we can do a simple verification so instead of generating a random number if we send back a non value in fahrenheit a static value in fahrenheit and test that the adapter is working so 30 to fahrenheit is zero degree zero celsius degree there you go so 32 zero so the adapter the formula works so we can put back the uh, randomizer and there you go so to summarize so your displayer is only taking celsius so that's fine for the static provider but not fine for the random provider which is only giving you in fahrenheit mm -hmm. so then we just created uh, an adapter for the random provider so that's the beauty of the adapter pattern okay so as usual let's discuss a bit of um, pros and cons so starting with the good things um, as you can see the adapter is really elegant because you don't modify at all the existing code like this player I cut it once and then I haven't changed it it's gonna take Celsius forever the static provider doesn't need to change even the random provider it's external the external random provider is in Fahrenheit and it will continue to do so I didn't change it so that's really good second one is easily testable so you can see that you could simply send a mock of your random provider and test your adapter in isolation and it's all good and lastly it allows you to do runtime modification so let's say your random provider in Fahrenheit um, your application needed another temperature like Celsius or Kelvin and it needs to be at runtime so you will provide your adapter at runtime so that's very powerful um, the bad things now so it's very similar to the decorator pattern so um, I invite you to have a look to the decorator pattern video if you don't remember it um, because they are very similar so don't uh, make the mistake in interview for instance okay lastly is it's more an advi a piece of advice really it's just use it wisely so if it's simpler to just extend your struct by adding the correct interface or just implement the correct the needed interface just do it if it can solve your problem instead of creating a whole new adapter class it depends on your case really so yeah use it wisely all right hope you enjoyed the video and hope you learned something today um, like and subscribe if you did if you didn't and you have any questions just let me know in the comments so then i can adjust myself for now happy coding to all bye